so it is piggy bath time. It's been probably over a year since these girls last had a bath and they are in need of one. They smell, let's just put it that way. <laughs> I'm also doing a cage clean as, as you can see, the cage isn't in its most neat and uh, clean state that it usually is in my videos. Um, I have quite a few videos on baths already. So for this one, I'm going to just tell you what I'm doing briefly, not go into too much explanation and just let you see how we do it more than anything else. So this is the setup that I'm going to use for their baths. I'm going to have them all out at once where I can keep an eye on them all and where they have somewhere to go and pee and poo. So that is a freshly cleaned out litter tray with fresh hay in it. They also have some tunnels and houses that they can go and hide in. As I'm doing them all at once and then you leave the shampoo on for a bit, they're going to be kind of wandering around this area whilst the others are having their baths. So onto the product that I'm going to use. There are two, both from Gorgeous Guineas. This little one is the Coco Neem Melt, which Lyra is going to have on first as her skin isn't the greatest and it can become quite dandruffy. So she's gonna have that on and leave that on for the recommended around 20 minutes whilst the others have their baths using this shampoo also from Gorgeous Guineas. If you haven't heard of Gorgeous Guineas, then do go check out their website. They have really great products and they also have a lot of good advice on looking after your guinea pig skin. And then once Lyra's had her melt on, she will also be washed using the shampoo. So let's get started. So first up, we're going to do Lyra's melt. As you can see, I've got it in my hands and you just kind of let it kind of melt into the oil and then you apply it to their skin. So it's a bit icky. So I'm just going to put it on Lyra's back, um, which is the area where she can get quite dandruffy. And I'm gonna hold her up just to keep her in place and then just kind of let it melt into the skin, massage it in a bit. As you can hear, those little squeaks are probably just cause I'm pulling on her hair a bit, but I do want to try and get the melt down towards her skin. So now with some lukewarm to warm water, about um, maybe just over an inch deep in there, um, the shampoo at the ready and a towel on my knee, I'm going to do Willow first of all. It's always very important to make sure you have a secure hold on them so that they can't jump out of the tub um, and I find it most easiest to always have a hand underneath their front paws and kind of up and around their front shoulders. It's okay. It's okay, sweetie. It's only water. It's only water. I know, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So your first reaction might be something like that, which is not the best reaction, but we'll persevere and she will calm down. maintaining their, their upper half of the body out of the water so really she's only got her feet in the water and I'll just kind of use my hands to bring some of it up and lather that shampoo in and obviously it goes without saying avoid their head you don't want to risk any shampoo getting into their eyes or nose or ears or anything like that so I don't really go any further than just the bottom of her neck really so in goes the fluffy one <laughs> hey it's okay it's okay I thought she'd be calmer, but even if they're acting calm, then just be aware that they can make a sudden burst for it. Are you a good girl, Twiggy? Are you a good girl? Oh, you're being very good, Twiggy. Yeah, but you know that you really needed one, didn't you? So now Twiggy's all done, I'm just going to change the water and then we'll rinse Willow off. So for rinsing them off, I will try to get a bit more water in there. Um, as I said, I'm not actually putting them in, I'm not putting their front feet in and uh, I want there kind of to be more water so the shampoo is quicker and easier to wash off. So we'll rinse Willow off now. I'll probably expect that same reaction as last time when I put her in the water. 
Well, maybe not, but we'll be prepared, won't we, Piggy? Okay, let's get this shampoo off you. I probably rinse them off more than I really need to, but um, I think it's important to make sure you really get all of that shampoo out and you don't leave any um, residue in the skin at all. Straight away after she's all rinsed off, I'm going to pop her onto my knee, which I've got a towel on, and we're going to wrap her up and just give her a quick rubbing down. I know, I know you don't like it. So once I've got most of that water off, then I will just let her go and wonder, and I will kind of periodically pick her up and just give her a good rub down um, until she's nearly completely dry and then she's fine to just go back in the cage um, and as I said the heating is on constantly it's quite warm in here so um, she will dry off if you have guinea pigs and they're going outside then you need to make sure they are 100% completely dry before you put them back in their hutch outside where obviously it's a lot colder than it is inside. The twigs all rinsed off now and Lyra is going to go in for her shampoo and washing off this melt that she's got on you smell so coconutty, you do. And uh, she's been hiding in the hay, so unfortunately she's got loads of hay in her coat. Oh, you. Okay, get used to my water a bit first. Now, as Lyra is a long-haired piggy, we are paying even more attention um, to her bottom region. Um, it's so easy for them to develop like little tangles and mats in the fur, even if you do keep it short. And she's got that shampoo on all over now. <laughs> so um, I'm probably not gonna leave it the full five minutes because I wanna get it washed off, um, but I'll change the water and then we'll, we'll rinse that off for her. I'm actually not having to hold on her, to her tightly at all, so <laughs> I think she kind of likes this, don't you? Hey, it's so nice and warm. Is it? Are you gonna show show them your face? No, you done. I think you are, right, you little sweetheart. Oh, there's that Lyra rumble. Yes, that Lyra rumble that we all know too well. Now, as Lyra has long hair, I will probably um, hair dry her a bit as well with the dryer, um, which sounds strange to do to guinea pigs. Um, but if they don't mind it, then it is a, a much more efficient way of getting them dry. And Lyra doesn't actually mind the hair dryer too much. She will sit nicely and let her have her bottom dried off. Oh, you sweetheart. Yes, because you're a good piggy. 